It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Dallas Cowboys. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 25. Well, the roof is closed, but as you can probably tell, the mouths of these Cowboy fans could not be more wide open. It is a frenzied AT&T Stadium in Arlington. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. And they're going to strike this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Well, the Cowboys making their way out behind the NFL's leader in touchdown passes for 2023. In his ninth season now, Dak Prescott. And he's coming off one of the best seasons of his career where he finished as a runner-up in the MVP chase after throwing for over 4,500 yards, 36 touchdowns, and less than 10 interceptions for the first time in a few years. An integral part of the Cowboys' run to the playoffs, he's hoping to take it a step further here in 2024. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. Looking to pass first play is Prescott. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Man coverage to start the game, and I expect we'll see a good amount of that. They trust their secondary to hold down the fort and let their pass rushers get home. And that's a good job right on play one. Second and ten. To throw is Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. But just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. That one out wide and intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead at 7-0. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six. So we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better 
that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Able to push his way through. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Give him 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. The running game fully in sync, 1-11 to 11 on that play. And sometimes it comes from the offensive coordinator understanding what he thinks the defense is going to do and dialing up the perfect play. Sometimes the quarterback, though, can look at the defense, realize he needs to change it to a run, and that gets it done in a big way as well. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And they're down to the 41. From the 41, here's second down and seven. Elliott, toss right. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run probing now early to try and get things done later. Play action now, Prescott. He may go. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Brandon Cooks, 36 yards. And the Cowboys are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So here's the first drive for the Ravens, and at the helm is the 2023 NFL Most Valuable Player. Second such time he's won the award, Lamar Jackson. And he's coming off a season where he showed everyone that he's worth every single penny he was given. He now has two MVP trophies on his resume and was on the verge of adding a Lamar Hunt trophy to go with it. Unfortunately, things didn't work out in his favor, but make no mistake about it. He's truly one of the most electrifying players in the NFL. As long as he's the man under center, they'll always be in championship conversation. Now it's Jackson. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. Jackson. He'll find Bateman once more. 
That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. So we just called his name on the previous snap, and they go right back to him, Charles, for a second consecutive completion. Yeah, I think what we're discovering on this drive is that he feels like he has answers no matter what defense you throw up there. He reads it, finds the open spot, and is available for the completion. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. He's going to air one out. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. Now an option play on second down. And for a second straight play, that Cowboy defense gets him to the ground behind a line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four. Now third down. But sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion. And I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that would be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. They're facing fourth down, Baltimore will punt. Jordan Stout out there. Devontae Turpin deep for the Cowboys. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Left side to Lamb. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Here's Prescott. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. And, partner, I think this is where long-term starters in the NFL separate themselves from the rest of the pack because there's still three full quarters left in this one. More than enough time to move past a pair of early mistakes and find a way to lead your team to a win. Mental resiliency, a characteristic every NFL team's looking for in their quarterback. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They'll have very good starting field position here as they try to break our tie, and they start first and 10. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. Donovan Wilson that time there on the tackle. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They go play action with Jackson. And that is incomplete. Nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. The tight end in motion right. Now it's Jackson. 
Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Ravens first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Jackson from the shotgun. Looking for Bateman. He's got him complete. A strong broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground just shy of the 15. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that will bring up second down. Jackson will throw again. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And Andrews going to have a Ravens first down as he's down to the 12. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. It's awfully good to see Andrews back on the field after suffering that tough leg injury a season ago. He's been a perennial pro bowler throughout his career, and the Ravens believe they'll get right back to that status in this season. A little antsy on the left side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one. And let's face it, he is so amped up. Wanting to get a good get off on the snap. Jump too quickly. To throw is Jackson. And it's caught. Touchdown. Lamar Jackson hooking up with Mark Andrews. And the Ravens have taken the lead. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Now Tucker to add the PAT. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So the drive there took six plays, and it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. And bulldozing his way through, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Prescott now. This is caught. It's Cooks. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. That is caught by Lamb. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10, mark it down at the 9. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Well, there's no disputing. He's made some poor throws in this first half, 
but this was a good one. And you can bet this is an offense that isn't going to pull back. They believe in what he can do. So all you can do is look forward, and they pick up a first down. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now Elliott. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it at every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. Well, not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from drawing level. Man, he just ran a terrific route. Extremely hard to defend when it's run that precisely and the ball's delivered that accurately. Aubrey now for the PAT. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So that drive spanned five plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown from CeeDee Lamb. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking... My replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right? That run after catch. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. In motion right is Aguilar. To throw is Jackson. That ball's caught. Aguilar right side. It'll be a gain of five. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. They go play action now. Jackson. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. No return, but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. 
They start on the ground with Elliott. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Nice run defense presented there, and what I mean by that is discipline. Guys filling the right gaps in the right holes, no one over pursuing, and making a very nice play. Now Prescott. Out right, he finds Tobert. And a big gain that time. He's out of bounds on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. To throw is Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, it hasn't been a banner first half for the defense trying to cover him today, but they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. Second and ten. Here's Prescott. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Prescott yet again. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Elliott. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. If you're going to keep these guys out of the end zone, you've got to be able to commit to stopping the run, and that's a nice job there getting the safeties involved in run support. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Again, it's Elliott, and this time he is in for a Cowboy touchdown. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Aubrey good with a PAT, and the lead is now 21-14. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. Here's Jackson to throw. That's complete to his receiver, Bateman. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. 
And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Well, this one's going to sail on him a bit, and it's incomplete. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and three. Jackson now. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Now Jackson. Complete to Likely. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Play action. It's Jackson. No hesitation. Goes right back to Likely. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16 and another first down. Well, every now and then I can speak from experience because I do know as a defender, it is awfully hard to stay with your man on these crossing routes because even if you don't get picked, there's a danger of being picked, either by one of their receivers or maybe by your own defender. And on that play, that worked quite well. They'll give him four yards there at its second down. Flowers going to go in motion right. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. Henry's got it. Out on the left side. Call it a gain of a yard. And it brings up third and five now. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. They go play action with Jackson. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. A great play there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Ravens are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Tucker now for the extra point. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. Couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. 
And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Cowboys offense and C.D. Lamb ready to take over once more. And it may be time for this defense to start throwing a second defender his way because whatever they've done, it has not worked in this first half. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether That's it's the simple, guys huh? up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the and football. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. That'll give him eight that time. And it'll be second in a couple. Prescott. Short pass taken in by Schoonmaker. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball. How much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. Up the middle, here's Hallian. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 54 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Partner, we always talk about how important third down is, but I think first down is equally important because everything comes off of that play. If the defense wins the down, they are able to attack. If the offense wins the down, they might go faster, do other things, and change things up. That big play right there allows this offense to really get in gear. Now he's able to break through one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you. Touchdown, Cowboys! Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, CD. Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. Well, let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. I don't think anything's out of the question right now. He's blowing up coverages. You've got to double him every snap. Otherwise, he's going to defeat you on almost every play. Well, the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And they will take a seven-point lead. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And tip your cap to Demarcus Lawrence. Nice play defensively. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole pack. 
package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. In motion, Aguilar. Now it's Jackson. Completes it to Aguilar. So the completion good for seven there. And just like that, it's third down. Play fake. Here's Jackson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Jackson, yet again, targeting and fighting Mark Andrews. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Inside handoff, Henry. Breaks the tackle, now an alley. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That good for 19 and a first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the gun, Jackson. His throw caught right around the six. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. Now it's Jackson. This is caught, and in for the Ravens touchdown. Rashad Bateman on a touchdown throw from Lamar Jackson. And the Ravens are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. As a former defender, I would be angry as well. Could not get off the field. Well executed offensive drive. No matter what the defense tried, they couldn't stop them. Tucker now for the extra point. He's got it. This thing's turning a bit wild here. We're tied at 28. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it's Rashad Bateman who finished it all off with a touchdown. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Cowboys offense and C.D. Lamb ready to take over once more. And seemingly every time they've looked his way in this first half, it has resulted in a big play as borne out by the numbers.
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Now Prescott. Prescott able to get down there at the end on the slide, and he has the first as well. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Prescott to throw it. Left side to Lamb. So the completion good for six yards at its second down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And he's caught by Lamb. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 22-yard line. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Now Prescott. Finding Tolbert here over the middle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Two yards to go, second down. Prescott now. And that went to the right side and incomplete. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy who was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. And again, it's Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get him with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Now Prescott. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. And his kick is good. And they have regained the lead. So we will not go into the lockers tied. We do have a leader in the clubhouse, so to speak. Yeah, it's only three points. Doesn't seem like much, but it looms big the way that they got it done right before the half ended. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out 
to the 25. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson. He sets to fire deep. And that's caught inside the 35. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? So instead of trailing into the lockers, they grab the lead with a clock reading all zeros before intermission. I would love to go into the locker room with them because right now they're riding a nice wave, aren't they? They're feeling good about themselves. But I know the coach is going to be talking to them about calming down, taking it easy. We've got a whole second half, but use the way we finished the first one to start the second. Tucker with the extra point, and that will take us to the end of the first half of play. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And a good kick pays off as he's only able to get this out past the 10-yard line. The Ravens offense and Lamar Jackson set to take over once again. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Here's second and three. Off the option, here's Henry. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. He lost four there, and it's third down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. They'll see about converting this third and eight. They go play action with Jackson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. And Brandon, this is the time of the game when Jackson could really take over. He's got the defense's legs a little bit tired. He's got them on the run. Yeah, this defense looks gassed, and you're exactly right. Second half with the lead, this is when Lamar Jackson seems to thrive. Jackson now. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Flowers. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, 
You really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. They set up the screen for Henry. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed, but that was really well designed there, and they're able to pick up a first down. Henry will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. And you can forgive this defense just a bit here. They know how dangerous Lamar Jackson is running the football. Stopping him is in many ways a prime concern. So here, they're late to react to the handoff on the option, and it costs them as this winds up a touchdown. Tucker now for the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. So this drive spans seven plays. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Cowboys offense and Dak Prescott getting ready to go once more. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets. And it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. From the 34-yard line, here's second down and eight. Prescott to throw it. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Only able to gain a couple there. And now third down and six to go. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Looking to throw. Prescott. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. No surprise to see a sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, 
You're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's a second down and four. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Crossing route complete. Catch made by Cooks. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Throwing. Prescott out of his hands quickly to CeeDee Lamb. The result only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs. Hitting on all three of those passes and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Just looking out from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got mm -hmm. a key on because quarterbacks want the ball of their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. Prescott yet again. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. So on fourth down, Prescott off and on his Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. And his kick is indeed good, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So give him three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say, we'll take it. But the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Ravens offense and Lamar Jackson set to take over once again. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him, and he'll look to keep it rolling right here. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on the last time I look and repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They'll send a big tight end in motion right. Throwing is Jackson. Over the middle complete. That's Flowers. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. Jackson right side there's likely with it and he's got this to the 30 before being taken down that'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run and the offense is saying to itself right now if only they were all this easy because he was wide open and once he made the catch plenty of room to work his way downfield that was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball one that they want to fix immediately so from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. 
In motion right is Aguilar. Jackson now. It's caught by Aguilar. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up for the first and 10. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. To throw is Jackson. Yeah, well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Here's second and ten. They go play action now. Jackson. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look. And we will take a short break. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll send the tight end in motion left. Jackson. They set up the screen for Henry. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. And that's a gutsy call there on third and short because... That's a play that's got a good chance of being blown up in the backfield for a big loss of yardage. But nice job out wide to gather in that screen pass. Uses blockers well and pick up the first down. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson scoring on the keeper from six yards out. And the Ravens go up by two touchdowns. Now this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one. And in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate, you should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep it back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends up in the end zone. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is up to 15 now. So that drive in total eight plays, and it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Cowboys offense and C.D. Lamb ready to take over once more. And he was pretty much unguardable in that first half. You see the numbers there as they try to add to him here in this third quarter. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done.
They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Staying on his feet. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. To throw is Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he'll get positive yardage there as he'll be touched down. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing, Prescott. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front the front help in the back the pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks here's brian anger now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon and this will be out of bounds at the what here the 12 yard line now the baltimore offense heading back out onto the field and as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, the fact you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Now second and five. Throwing is Jackson. To the right side and intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. So the ball changing hands on the interception, but meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he'll get nothing out of that one. So no gain on the play, and it's second and goal. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys take the forced turnover on defense and convert it into six points. So this is now a nine-point difference. You figure the book here says kick the extra point, make it a one-score game. Now, you and I have seen coaches get overly aggressive in this spot, but I agree with you. Kick it here and get back within a score. And now in a nine-point game, they'll still just need to go for one here. 
as this gets them back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. They have the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Ravens offense and Lamar Jackson set to take over once again. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score. Derrick Henry. second touchdown of the afternoon and the Ravens use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead well that is certainly a deflator right there defensively their guys just came off of a touchdown drive they're back in the game and then bam they give up a touchdown one play later how about that and the momentum which seemingly had shifted the other direction thought we might be seeing a comeback <laughs> that momentum right back the other way well that is certainly not complimentary football that we saw right there the defense is supposed to help their offense not give up another touchdown tucker with the extra point and the lead is up to 15 now so they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Cowboys offense and the veteran Ezekiel Elliott set to go to work once more. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Here's Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he'll get positive yardage there as he'll be touched down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and three. Now Prescott. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. The veteran Kyle Van Noy in there to drop him. Remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed.
They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Here's Prescott. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. The Ravens offense and Derrick Henry set to take over once more. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Ravens will get it. First and 10 from deep in their own territory. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Jackson. Throw left side, complete. That's Henry. And down he'll go at the 25. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. This is second and eight. Play action. Now Jackson. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. To throw is Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. The coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, but when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Play action. It's Jackson. Throwing middle but it's incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. And this offense on third down today, they've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. Here it's third and three. Jackson will throw again. Throw left side complete. That's Henry. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It'll be a loss of two on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. But we know the guys up front have to protect when it's a pass play. But it's really out wide. Sometimes you're going to swing a tight end or maybe even offensive tackle to get out there. But most of the time, it's fellow wide receivers. And they really weren't up to the task there, were they? What, do you like that call on your own side of the field? I don't mind that call at all, just about anywhere. But the key is you have to have the confidence, and then they have to execute their blocking assignments. Otherwise, you get the end result we just saw there. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10.
So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. Pass complete to Tolbert on the crossing route. Loose inside the 30, inside the 10, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Jalen Tolbert, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys are able to cut into that deficit. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. And now in a nine-point game, they'll still just need to go for one here. And it's good. So that will get them back within one score. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Ravens offense and Lamar Jackson set to take over once again. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there. And they'll go backwards right away. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays. You know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Jackson to Andrews on that one. First down, Baltimore. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs. And they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Well, this complete to Henry over the middle. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. And now a tip of the cap to the man under center, Charles. He just went over 400 yards passing in this ball game. He's got the touchdown passes to boot, taking pretty good care of the ball. Just all around a really solid performance. Yeah, just check, 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 and check, right? Because he certainly showed he was worthy of the trust that his team put in him. A handful of touchdowns to his credit thus far. Now he's just crossing off yardage milestones and win or lose. His name has to be in serious discussion for player of the game. To throw is Jackson. A short one there, caught by Likely. Will go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. From the 35, back to work on second and four. They go play action now. Jackson. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty.
Play action. Now Jackson on the move to his... And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Parsons is clearly one of the best defenders in the NFL and totaled at least 13 sacks in each of his first three years in the league and continues to wreak havoc, as we just saw there. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Back to throw. A throw left sideline falls incomplete critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Oh, this is off the side of his foot. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Cowboys offense and Dak Prescott getting ready to go once more. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Now a second and ten. Prescott now. He's got it complete to Tolbert. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Prescott to throw it. Throw left side complete. That's Ferguson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. With that last completion, CD is now over 400 yards passing in the game. And quite a few of those have come via some pretty big strikes downfield. Certainly not afraid to challenge this secondary, and it's been successful. I like your observation there, partner, because I agree. This is a good more than capable of torching a secondary any week is evidenced by their combined stat line here. And in the time we have remaining, wouldn't shock me at all to see them take another deep shot. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Finding Tolbert here over the middle. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 29-yard line. Nice. Well coached. A team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Now Prescott. Able to hit his target win. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as it'll come with an even 90 seconds remaining on the clock. This is first and 10. On the option, here's Elliott. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. The ball on the 16 for second and 10. And Cooks hands it over the middle. 
The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. A big play looming on third down. Here's Dak. That is caught. And the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines. And this will be caught. Touchdown. So in the final minute here now, a two-point conversion will tie the game. The touchdown's massive, but now they've got to have two to possibly take this to overtime. And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed, and in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good, long look at it. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. The late touchdown was only half the battle. Now they need the two-point conversion to tie the ball game. Here's Prescott. They shakes him up, and he's going to be sacked. They came after him. He couldn't get away, and this remains a two-point game. So with an even 30 seconds to go, everything will come down to this onside kick. And who's got it? I think the Ravens do, yes. And they're going to win this football game. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. The Ravens taking a knee with victory seemingly in hand here. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Well, taking that knee, maybe just a sigh of relief. They withstood a big fourth quarter comeback. Able to hold on, though. Certainly looked like they had things going their way, didn't it, in the fourth quarter? That just hold on, as you said, furious assault on them. But they were able to get it done, take a knee, and head to the locker room with a win. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. 
And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to a one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward.